Level 1 Computex 2019 coverage is made possible by ASRock. Yes, ASRock has sponsored our travel to come out to Computex. So I want to say thanks to ASRock. They've got a lot of new exciting products here at Computex. Not the least of which is X570. All of their X570 motherboards in the full lineup. We're going to have a video on that. You should check that out. There's a link in the description. Definitely check out their products. They've also got the uh, Steel Legend, the Z390. So, you know, if you're Team Red or Team Blue, it doesn't really matter. There's something there for you no matter no matter what although you know things are getting kind of interesting at this computex also I want to say a big thanks to team group team group they've got a lot of new exciting ssds and ram and all kinds of stuff and they also sponsored our travel out to computex so all of our computex coverage for 2019 are thanks to those guys because you know they they made it so we could get here which is really awesome now team group is uh it's pretty exciting we've got a full video of all the stuff that they've got going on at their booth i've been using team group for many many years all the way back to like i think the ddr2 or ddr3 days check them out there's a link in the description well i'm on location in taipei and the amd event was interesting uh most of the west coast watched late in the evening but it was actually super early in the morning here well not super early but like 10 o'clock Anyway, so there was a lot of details in the press event, but there was also not a lot of details in the press event. So at CES, it was totally a teaser. This time, it was less of a teaser. We got some hard and concrete facts. The 3700X, the 3800X, the 12 core, and the pricing. The pricing really is actually pretty good. I mean, an AM4 running circles around an X299, that's, that's <laughs> what a time to be alive. There's really, there's a lot of little hidden gems in the press event and so they talked about Rome they talked about Navi and details are coming on Navi so the Navi thing was really a reveal kind of like the CES teaser but they did actually show two games running side by side the 2070 versus an unnamed Navi chip it does look like that uh, GDDR6 is going to factor in because the, the die size is small at least Sue said oh, we like it when you know they're small and the implication there is less silicon, bending is better, that kind of thing. But 1.5% or 1.5 times uh, performance uplift per watt, 1.25 times efficiency uh, per clock or, you know, number of things per clock on Navi. So that'll be interesting to see at the, uh, the upcoming event. I would say it's about, this event is 90% Ryzen and Ryzen related stuff at about 10% Navi. Now, of course, on the show floor, there is a ton of X570 motherboards, and we're going to have more about that. Now, today today I got to meet with Robert Halleck, and uh, we got to chat through a few things, but a lot of the technical details are going to come at E3. So I asked about Precision Boost Overdrive and how the clocks are handled and the wattage, and it's like, yeah, I mean, the 9900K is 95 watts, but we all know that, like, 95 watts is not really 95 watts, and so what's the 105 watt like? But also is the 65 watt... 65 watt not really a lot of technical details now i did get some interesting tidbits and that is the x570 chipset so the chipset has a lot of interesting details to it you get 16 pci express by four lanes out of the chipset which can be split however the aiv partner wants to do it you can take eight lanes and turn that into two by four m.2 slots you can take the other eight and have eight sata ports or have four sata ports or and then another, you know, PCI Express 4.0. But it's PCI Express 4.0 across the board. The M.2 interface is PCI Express 4.0. You still get the 16 PCI Express 4.0 lanes. They're gonna see if, uh, like, to what extent you can mix PHY 3 and 4. Well, PCI Express 3 and 4, and it's gonna come down to the PHYs that are offered on the CPU. So we don't, I'm hoping I'll get those details at E3. But for AM4, to be able to do this all on AM4 is a seriously impressive feat of engineering and accomplishment. Right now on some of the BIOS upgrades, you know, some of the AIB partners on their older boards are going to support PCI Express 4, but I wouldn't count on that. Based on what I learned today, I think that if you want PCI Express 4, you're going to need an X570 motherboard. I mean, there's there been stuff on the internet and some of the board partners unofficially have said, well, maybe we could support it, but that takes a lot of testing and qualification and I just based on what I'm hearing today I don't think that we're gonna see PCI Express 4.0 as a supported option on non x570 motherboards and for me 
at least for the number of tech support threads that we get at level one, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Why is my PCI Express 4.0 graphics not working? They demo PCI Express 4.0 Navi graphics cards uh, and a new benchmark that is how fast the CPU can do vertex animations across the PCI bus. And uh, it actually did run better on PCI Express 4.0. So there may be certain, it may open up some possibilities for game engineering that yeah, the PCI Express bandwidth may matter, but it's gonna depend on how the games themselves are put together. So all in all, there were a lot of details revealed about you know the third generation Ryzen and 12 cores on an AM4 socket, I never would have thought was possible. But in my own testing, I've shown that memory bandwidth is not really going to be an issue because it wasn't an issue on Threadripper. So I think the future is going to be really interesting. I couldn't even get confirmation about NUMA versus UMA because it's like, oh, the two chiplets? You know, how are we going to do that? And it's just sly smiles and nods and wait for E3. So E3 is a thing. Again, big thanks for ASRock and team group. Those guys are the people that brought me out here. You should check them out. They're awesome. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1, signing out, and I'll see you later.